Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning class. It's Miss Bella again. How are you today? I hope you are doing excellent as always. Today we are going to continue with unit 8. How the tiger got its stripes. Let's read together. It's a story of Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, there lived a very poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children, Hansel and Gretel. They lived in a tiny cottage at the end of the village. Alright, so this is Pencil and Gretel, the two children, and this is the poor woodcutter. Uh, dia bekerja, ayah, ayah Hansel dengan Gretel ni bekerja sebagai seorang um, woodcutter, tukang potong kayu. Dan of course, dia sangat poor, miskin. Dan dia tak ada ibu kandung, masa ni dia cuma ada ibu tiri. This is the stepmother. Butiri mereka. Alright. One evening, Hansel and Gretel overheard their father and stepmother arguing. We don't have enough food to eat. Soon we will all starve, said the stepmother. You're right, but I don't know what to do. The father answered, I have a plan, said the stepmother. We have to leave the children in the forest. This is the only way to save on food. Finally, after much argument, the father reluctantly agreed. Hansel went to bed with a heavy heart. Alright, what happened here is Pada satu hari, satu petang Hansel dan Gretel ni dia terdengar Overheard Overheard is a verb Satu kata kerja bermaksud uh, Terdengar ya, Dia bukan sengaja tapi terdengar Perbualan ataupun ada uh, Not actually berbual saja Mereka sedang bertengkar Arguing uh, Mereka berdua ni sedang bertengkar Mak dia cakap uh, kita tak ada makanan, tak cukup makanan. Nanti tak lama lagi, we will all starve. Starve mean? Uh, kebulu. Nanti kebulu kita semua. Dia cakap dekat suami dia. Okay. Uh, suami dia cakap, oh betul tu. Tapi, I tak tahu nak buat apa. Ayah dia cakap. And then the mother, stepmother said, I ada rancangan. Apa kata kita tinggal? We have to leave. Kita perlu tinggalkan leave. The children nak tinggal kat mana? In the forest. Tinggal dalam hutan. Ini sahajalah cara untuk kita jimat makanan. Ah, ah, cadangan yang bernas sekali. Mak dia cakap apa? Ah, kita nak save makanan, nak jimat. Ah, boleh kita tinggal anak kita dalam hutan. <laughs> bernas tak? I don't think so. Alright. Finally, after much argument, lepas dia bertengkar. Ah, Lama lah juga kan. Akhirnya ayahnya... Dengan berat hati, reluctantly, dengan rasa berat hati. Okay, ha, dia macam tak sanggup tapi dia terpaksa buat. So, reluctantly, agreed, setuju. Hansel went to bed with a heavy heart. Hansel ni dia masuk ha, tidur dengan hati yang rasa sangat berat. Kenapa rasa sangat berat? Because he knew okay, what is going to happen. Dia tahu apa yang akan berlaku. So, dia rasa tak, uh, tak seronok lah. All right, next. The next morning, Hansel and Gretel were taken to the forest. Hansel kept some bread crumbs in his pocket. He dropped them along the way without his parents' knowledge. He hoped to find the way home. Children, wait here. Your father and I are going to collect some firewood, said the stepmother. Hansel, however, knew that they would never return. Alright, 
what happened here you look at the faces they had muka mereka Ansel dengan Gretel look very very sad they look worried nampak macam risau and then look at the face of this evil stepmother okay muka yang macam sangat menyeramkan ni kan muka uh, jahat lah because memang dia ada niat jahat pun dia cakap apa dia cakap um, masa pagi tu dia dibawa ke dalam hutan Hansel dia letak bread crumbs What is break from? Break from ni dia macam uh, serdak-serdak roti. Okay, dia letak dekat mana? Dalam poket. Apa yang dia buat? He drop them. Dia uh, jatuhkan. Dia he drop them along the way sepanjang perjalanan dia. Uh, tapi ibu dengan ayah dia tidak perasan without his parents knowledge. Mereka tak perasan. Uh, kenapa dia buat macam tu? He hope to find the way home. Dengan harapan dia punya break from tu boleh bantu dia cari jalan pulang. And then mak dia cakap, okay anak-anak tunggu kat sini. Uh, I dengan ayah you akan pergi uh, kutip kayu, kayu api. Kata ibu tiri dia lah. Uh, Hansel, uh, the brother, walau bagaimanapun, however, knew. Dia dah tahu dah. Dia dah tahu that they would never return. Who are they? Siapa they, uh, they ni? Merujuk kepada the father and also the stepmother. Never return. Dia tahu dia takkan kembali. Okay. So that's why he looked very, very uh, worried and very quite sad. Upset. Alright. Okay, class. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.